In order to reduce congestion and free up parking spaces in Cardiff, the Welsh Government approved Cardiff Council's long-term plan to get more people to cycle and walk. As a part of the plan, five cycle superhighways will be built next year, Jim Wing Jim reports. This is North Road on a typical weekday afternoon. Buses, taxis and private cars in a long traffic jam leading to the city centre, while there are only few bikes on the cycle line. In order to encourage people living in the city centre to leave their cars at home and consider alternative options, Cardiff Council plans to build five cycle superhighways next year from the city centre to many areas, including Cartes, Adamstown, Cardiff Bay, Land of Riverside and Eddy. The new lanes will be segregated by a curb between the path and the road to make the roads safer for cyclists. Cycling is, is clearly a way that most students and many residents of Cardiff uh, commute around Cardiff, so more dedicated cycle lanes will inevitably be a good thing. It will allow them to travel more safely. It's much safer for cyclists. It's like I, I always find Cardiff is a horrible city to cycle in, um, and more cycle lanes is always better. Another great initiative is a bike hire scheme introduced at four locations around the city in a council plan to encourage more eco-friendly journeys. The number will increase to 50 stations and 500 bikes in and around Cardiff during the summer. A public consultation about the plan is underway on the Cardiff government website. However, installing the roads is expensive and the remaining work is depends on finding the money. The first section of the cycle lines will be built on this road just beside me. By the way, Cardiff is quite a compact city. Is it practical to build cycle lines on a narrow road? Whether it is really helpful to reduce the traffic pressure in rush hours? It needs time to look for the outcome. This is Zhu Yingjun for Cardiff News Plus.